Pride makes us in Roadshow supporters. Well, we're going to talk about Chicago. I read this, and I have to admit, even being Chicago, my eyebrows went up. I went, is this a typo? Is this wrong? What in the new hell happened in the city of Chicago over the weekend? I couldn't believe this number when I saw it. And I believe this is the highest number I've ever seen since we've started doing this series that's going back almost maybe 24 months, 18 months at least on this channel. Uh, But uh, according to ABC7, 71 people were shot over the weekend from Friday to Monday. And just to let you know, Proud Americans weighed in on this online, and they are absolutely crushing the leadership and, frankly, uh, gun control is getting crushed up there. And what I mean by that is Chicago, of course, has got some of the toughest gun laws in the country. You know, I'm so glad to see your gun controls working out for you. I'm so glad. This is what happens right here when a normal, everyday citizens can't just defend themselves. You empower the criminal. And this is nuts. Truly insane. Absolutely crazy. At least 71 people were shot. Nine fatally in gun violence across Chicago from Friday evening to Monday morning. There were 47 shots, seven fatally over the weekend. 24 shot, two fatally. From midnight to 5 a.m. Monday, 24 people were shot. In five hours, 24 people were shot. What the hell? That's crazy. And look, they're trying to pull a little nonsense right here. Look at this. Chicago Police Department stops counting weekend shooting victims at 11.59 p.m. Good thing, because 21 people have been shot since midnight today, including two mass shootings, and that would have really messed up their weekend tally. Nah, too bad. Too bad, because people are still reporting on it anyway. What the hell happened there? There were two mass shootings in just over an hour apart Monday morning, Chicago police said. Seven people were injured, one critically after a shootout. On the south side of, I mean, seriously, it's not a laughing matter, but the leadership up there is a laughing matter. It's a joke. Seriously, CPD said those hurt were uh, those hurt were near to others who began shooting at each other before fleeing the scene just before 2 a.m. The 6,000 block of South Winchester Avenue in the city's West Inglewood neighborhood. I mean, my God, folks, really? A half a dozen people were injured in a shooting on the city's northwest side early Monday, according to Chicago's police department. The shooting happened at a gathering at the 900 block of Polanski Road near Iowa around 1246 a.m. in West Humboldt Park. CPD officers responded to shots fired and found that multiple victims were struck by gunfire. In total, five people were shot. It's nuts. Witnesses said they started running as some helped with first aid while waiting for responders. The youngest victim, a 15-year-old girl, was shot in the neck. 18-year-old woman, 19-year-old woman. My God, what is going on out there? That's nuts. And let me scroll down here because there is one that is particularly heinous. A string of shootings happened within five hours on Friday night in the Saturday morning on the city's west side. Among those killed in the violence was a 13-year-old boy. According to the police, the, the, the boy was shot before 8.30 p.m. Friday night while standing on the sidewalk the 1300 block of South Independence Boulevard in Lawndale Community. He died at Stroger Hospital. My God. Seriously. Brandon Johnson. 
What is that mayor doing? What is that governor doing? Again, folks, this is your Democratic leadership at work and has been for years there. Vote these morons out. They got dragged, by the way, uh, up there over all these shootings. Good thing, because 21 people have been shot since midnight today, including two mass shootings. But remember, folks, crime is down. Believe the data, not your lying eyes. I I mean, seriously. And they're trying to claim that crime is down. Shut up and sit down. What an embarrassment, truly. Their only strategy to bring crime down is to not report it. Thanks to sources like you, we see what's still happening. This is CWB Chicago public safety coverage from Chicago's north side. So it looks like independent journalism at work. Good job. Wow, it's crazy. At Chicago Mayor, are you done getting your hair cut? Can you comment on this? Of course not. Unbelievable. No shit. Impossible. Guns are not legal there. Yeah, your gun control's really working out, isn't it? Good thing Chicago and the state of Illinois are in the criminal's hands. This person invokes a little blazing saddles. Of course, the shootings don't end at 1159 Sunday night. The shooters are like the executioner. In Blazing Saddles, quote, I couldn't possibly fit him in until Monday, sir. I'm book solid. Yeah, CPD, thank God Monday's here. Not to worry, the mayor's root causes strategy should start to make an impact in about two generations. Till then, keep your head on a swivel. Avoid large group disturbances and stay strapped. Uh, You better not stay strapped. No, you better turn those in. The guns aren't allowed. Obviously. Imagine living somewhere where you're not shocked by mass shootings. Yeah, I mean, it's it's crazy. I've never understood the... uh, Let me turn uh, turn my eyeballs, all the voters up there. Keep, keep... Checking that D off in the voting booth. And this will keep happening. I mean, seriously. Shaking my head. Yeah, yeah. Make it make sense. Not good for the DNC. We'll see. I know a lot of people are claiming they're switching over to Trump up there. We'll see. you got to switch over to red in your for your mayor and your governor, too. Seriously. Chirac is alive and well. That's right. That's right. Wow. Uh, It's crazy. You got Fred Flintstone counting with his fingers here. You're going to need a hell of a lot of fingers, Fred. Just letting you know. That's because Chicago has had this mayor who doesn't give a crap about that much. Let's not forget who the governor is just as bad. Chicago's mayor, Governor Pritzker. Yeah, seriously. But according to our government, crime is down. If you buy that, you are a moron. Biden administration, overall crime is down. Yeah, right. See, because these people are less dead than those shot during the week. More BLM Brandon bullshit. I mean, but I thought strict gun control policy stopped crime and murder. Yeah, criminals, they don't abide by gun control gun control policies that's the thing you know they're actual criminals they don't care you know what does work arm arming law-abiding citizens and locking up criminals and thugs for their crimes take them off the streets seriously seriously unbelievable i mean uh, this 71 from friday evening through 6 a.m monday morning 71 shot Man, man, is Chicago the place where I've seen citizens now walking up and down the street trying to protect everything? God, good luck with that. Wear a bulletproof vest. Uh, Yeah, you can't take an AR with you. They'll lock up there. Here, a bunch of Uncle Jesse's could walk down the street. Good luck uh, shooting them guys. 
to go out target practicing on the weekends just for fun. Wow. Tell me what you think. Chicago, good job. My God. Peace. I'm out. Till next time.